Okay, all you'll need for this recipe is butterflied chicken. This was three chicken breasts that we butterflied. You'll need, I used two long carrots and cut them up. Um, whole green beans, a can of whole green beans, a can of fat-free cream of mushroom soup, and white country gravy mix. I cook everything in my cast iron skillet. I use it as my pan. So you can use your cast iron if you have one. If not, then just place it into a casserole dish. And then you'll need a little pot to make the gravy. So that's all the ingredients. This is super affordable and super quick to make. You're going to place your chicken into um, the pan or a skillet. And you're going to sear it. And you're going to want to season it on both sides. I use salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and a little bit of dried parsley. Blue jean, baby. Okay, now I'm going to cook my gravy. Just read the back of the package. I'm not going to really explain that part, but I'm going to go ahead and make the side of gravy right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots. LA lady seems just full of pain. Pretty eye. All right, now we're going to add the can of green beans. You can use fresh if you prefer or frozen, but I like to keep it pretty simple. So I'm using some whole green beans. Next, add your cream of mushroom. I get the 98% fat free. That's really important so that you have a low point dinner. Seems just full of pain. Pretty eyes. Pirate smile. Now you're going to take your white gravy and, and leave a little leftover to add to the top once it's all cooked. I find that it's really good to do it that way. I save about a cup of white gravy left. I just leave it in the pot to reheat because um, I like to put it on at the very end. So this is what it's going to look like. And I just kind of spread it all around evenly. It's not going to look pretty, <laughs> but it tastes amazing. And when it's all done, I actually like to shred up the chicken that's in here. So I just use a fork and I shred it all up so that it's easy to um, get into and to bite and eat. It's been about 25 minutes, so I'm going to take this out, and then I like to cut up the chicken into chunks. I like to do this because I like to, you know, put this on a plate and just bite into it bite size, and I don't, so I don't have to cut up the chicken breast. I can just go ahead and eat it all together, and I think it cooks really good once you cut it. So it'll look like this, and then put it back in. Now she's in me, always with me, tiny dancer in my head. 
please make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you guys try this recipe out. Check the description box down below for the recipe and the written out instructions. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Isn't me always with